In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to beat man-to-man -man coverage out of the Y-off trips Pats formation. This is also known as the U-trips formation. You can find this in the New England playbook as well as the Las Vegas playbook. And we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite concepts for attacking man-to-man -man coverage. Now, um, it's really good for the blitz as well. We're going to quick pass in here for you guys as well as uh, some really, really good routes uh, overall. Now, if you want to get my full U-Trips ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. It's just 10 bucks to sign up. And by becoming a member, you get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks including all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership's active. So make sure you sign up for that. The link's in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but the play we're going to be taking a look at today is Pat's Y out out of U-Trips or Y off Trips Pat's. And it's really simple setup, actually. All we're going to do is block our running back. We're going to in route our tight end. And then we're just going to motion this... Uh, post into a corner and we're going to snap the ball right about here now if you have a set feet lead quarterback this is a really really good throw right off of the snap if they're playing cover one or playing cover zero you're going to notice that this corner that is this uh, nickel corner is going to shift inside and he's also going to kind of take a back pedal first step and it allows us to free form basically just free forming pass leading it to the outside and we're able to attack this coverage again it's a very simple way to attack man to man uh literally just motion sky across pass lead outside you see that gets open and we can throw that so what this is going to cause your opponent to have to do is your opponent is now going to have to basically uh shade their coverage underneath so they're gonna have to play cover um cover one but they're gonna have to basically shade their coverage underneath so now um what you're gonna notice is whenever we go to do these motion snaps you're gonna see that this corner route on the left is actually gonna be able to get open a, a lot against shaded underneath man so again i'll show you that real quick got screamed at by sin three good old practice mode sheds is just absolutely incredible but what you'll see here is if you snap the ball right about here you'll notice he'll take that false step and then when he cuts to the outside you can freeform that and you see that he is wide open to the sideline. So, you know, again, you have really, really good opportunity in this offense to be able to beat a lot of what the meta is going to bring at you, which is why U-Trips is so powerful this year is because of route combos like this. You see he takes that little false step. We're going to freeform that outside, and you see that it beats man-to-man. -man. So we're able to attack man-to-man -man in a lot of different ways. Let me show you another thing with this. Um, we're going to show you how to attack the spinner defense. So you've got your coverage kind of like this, uh, or your pass pro, and you see it to snap the ball. You just snap it and throw it quick out to the wheel. Okay? Very, very good read. Now, another thing I want to show you about man, and whenever they shade underneath, this wheel route is, um, it, it does have some opportunity. So we'll show you here. So when he cuts up field, sometimes you can throw over the shoulder of that, of that corner. So it's worth at least a look, um, especially if you know that they're shading underneath. You know, it's worth at least a little peek to see if he does get over the top. Now, I want to show you an adjustment if he is going to do that consistently. Uh, so you see here, just free form or high ball outside, you got a one-on-one -on -one chance. Now, if you notice that they are shading underneath consistently, what you want to do, um, everything's going to stay the same, except the only difference is instead of leaving the wheel, we're going to streak him. And what you'll notice is if they shade underneath, a lot of times, here this example, they actually played really, really well. But there are times where a lot of, especially if they're sitting pressure as a result of this as well, um, what you'll see from the defense is basically this. So they're going to shade underneath to try to stop, um, you know, some of your quick reads or whatever. And then, you know, maybe they're going to use for this guy or whatever. Just want to get basically a cover zero look. Um, but essentially what's going to happen, because they have to do a lot of other stuff to stop the post, to stop the corner, to stop the in route to the tight end, all those things. So now what you'll see here is that sometimes if by streaking this guy, especially if they're shading underneath a lot, um, and see there Mahomes has got an absolute cannon in this game, but sometimes you're going to have the ability uh, to be able to hit the route to uh, Smith-Schuster if you want to put him on a fade or put him on a streak. 
So it gives you kind of a variation of this play that's also really good. It's still everything else is going to stay exactly the same. But now if you have a step on the defender, you can try to throw that over the top and have a potential, you know, high ball free form or, you know, we all know how good ags are in this game. You know, so this just gives you some more of that. So if they're shading underneath consistently in order to stop your wheel, you might consider putting this guy on a fade or putting this guy on a streak, get him to get this outside release, you know, and then maybe you can throw this free form outside. A lot of times that throw is going to be open, especially if you have similar speed to the corner. So just wanted to kind of make you aware of that. Um, not Nothing else. Uh, the beauty of this is it doesn't change much in the actual progression that you're going to be running. So even if you streak him and they don't shade underneath, your progression basically is the exact same. You're going to peak the fade, not there. Now I want to look over here and try to throw my corner route or I want to throw my tight end in route. Now the tight end in route is going to, again, piggyback off of what they might be doing to stop some of the other stuff. So maybe you get a defensive shell, um, you know, that looks something like this. And what you'll see now is this tight end cuts the inside. There's nobody in the middle of the field to stop him. So I could throw that ball just like that free form inside. And you see that now I've got a nice little beater over the middle. So this play really breaks down coverages really, really well. It's one of my favorite plays in the game. And again, you can kind of go back and forth between whether or not you want to wheel this guy or you want to put him on a streak. Now this post route, um, the tight end is going to suck the yellow to him. And you see this post route coming over the middle as well, being one of the best man beaters this year. It's one of the most consistent routes against man in this game. So we want to take advantage um, of everything this play has to offer. So once they decide to stop playing man because you've been cooking them in man a lot, you're going to start to get some zone. Uh, now what we primarily want to look at when, we run, when we're going up against zone is we want to look to these quick reads to this route right here to uh, the post. Those are the main reads we want to hit. Now I do want to show you something about this play specifically um, against zone. And that is the snap throw wheel against zone. So as you see against the cover three, this uh, snap throw wheel route is really, really effective against just a basic run of the mill cover three or cover four. So I'm going to go to cover four here real quick. You'll notice again that these corners are going to suck inside and that flat zone specifically is going to suck inside of the tight end. So just free form pass lead outside. You see the snap throw against man and zone. It's very effective. So they have to do some specific things uh, to be able to stop that. One of the things they can can try to do um, is they can go ahead and hard flat out of a cover three and I just want to show you what's going to happen here here's a hard flat at cover three you're going to notice this flat zone does not get out there to defend this player that is a massive 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 deal with how this uh, play is going to work against a lot of what people are going to try to do to stop it so we're going to go to cover four now show you shaded underneath uh, cover four, there's a hard flat, I can throw right at it. You see how I'm free-forming it right past the hard flat. A hard flat is irrelevant if the hard flat is inside of the player. So the only coverage that they can really run and have significant success against zone without having to man a bunch of people up and do a lot of adjustments is basically cover two hard flat. Uh, what you'll see here, though, is yes, he does play it initially, but let me show you something else that's kind of interesting. So if they want to play cover two hard flat on you, what you want to do is recognize that the outside corner is squatting or sitting on the wheel route, and you want to see if you can get this over the top. So you'll see here he's sitting on him, but he freezes, and now I can highball that to the outside. So you see how easy that wheel route can break down some of the most important zones. Really, in my opinion, the best way to defend this would be to baseline and press uh, you know, baseline and press out of their zone coverage. Now, you could do some other stuff. This allows seam streaks and all this stuff. What you'll see here is he'll defend that a lot better. However, you still have that route right there as well as your tight end coming over the middle. So there's a lot that you can do with this play. Um, it's very versatile. Uh, but one of my favorite things is the fact that this wheel route can really attack literally almost every single defense that it's going to face. Combine that with the fact that you have this post and you have this tight end uh, in route and a corner route, you have a really, really good money play. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, head down to the description of this video and make sure that you go sign up for our Patreon. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. We're releasing a brand new one tomorrow for you guys. 
I'm going to be going over Bunch Tight End. You'll get access to it. If you just sign up for today, you get access for the whole month. So thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video below and click the link down below.